hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to check a username or email ID exists or not in ASP.NET using Ajax and here we got the output of that code let's enter user ID jack at gmail and I click tab see here the user email id is already exists let's check in my database table the jack is there suppose if i enter the email id which is not available here let's take jack123 is not there when i click tab the user email id is available For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project. Go to File, New, Project. I'm choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework 4.6.1. The application name is Ajax Check User. Click OK. And the templates I'm choosing empty. Click OK. And here the project Ajax Check User is created. Go to Solution Explorer and notice in this project there is no any default web form pages because I have chosen the empty template. I'm adding a new ASPX page in this project. Right click, add new item I'm choosing web form check user add and this is a page we have just created check user.aspx page which contains a default HTML5 controls the first thing when we are implementing Ajax functionality in your ASPX page, we need two things. One is the DLL libraries of Ajax and controls. To check the DLL libraries is available in this project or not, go to Solution Explorer, click Reference, expand the references, and notice there is no any Ajax reference libraries. So first we will add the reference libraries in this project. Right click the references. Manage Nugget Packages. Go to Browse. Ajax. The Ajax Control Toolkit. Click that one. Install. And we got a message in the output window successfully installed Ajax Controller Toolkit version 18.1.0. Let's close this output and close this readme.txt also as well as the nudget packages. Now we'll check again, go to Solution Explorer and notice the Ajax Controller Toolkit is added in the reference folder. The first thing I'm adding the direct to register. Register assembly is equals to the assembly is go to solution explorer, expand the references, Ajax control toolkit, namespace is also the same and prefix tag prefix ajax ajax after adding the register come to the form in the do tag i'm adding center tag h1 check username exists or not using Ajax in ASP.NET C sharp horizontal line 
After that, I'm adding the Ajax Script Manager toolbox, Script Manager. I'm adding Dew Container. In this Dew Container, I'm adding the Update Panel Control. The Chill Template Content Template. Now, in this Content Template, User ID. I'm adding here ASP.NET text box control. Go to toolbox, expand the standard, the text box control, and this text box control, text, check, user. I'm adding span. ID is equals to span check run at server when page loads I want to make this span invisible so visible property is equals to false now inside the span I'm adding the label control go to toolbox label control and the ID label check user. That's it. We have added the necessary controls for this program. Now switch to the design mode. Double click the text box control. After adding the text change at event, the first thing we need the data source connection string of the SQL server. So before writing the coding part, let's visit my SQL server database. We'll check the table and the column names. In SQL Server Management Studio, the sample DB is my user database. I'm expanding that one. The tables expanding that one also. For this demo purpose, I'm using dbo.userreg. Right click that one, select top thousand rows. Right now in this user reg table contains seven records. I want to check the user ID as email is exist or not. Let's quickly switch over to the ASP.NET coding page. We'll write the rest of the code. I'm adding here using system.data using system dot system dot configuration using system dot data dot SQL client after adding these three namespaces now I need the data connection string properties which is a data source so go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name of my SQL server user the database name is sample db test connection it succeeded click ok and click ok and notice in server explorer under data connections the sample dbo dot dbo is added is added now we need the data source of this connection string right click that one properties and the connections we got the connection string the data source just copy the whole thing go to solution explorer let's minimize this reference open the web.config file After configuration above system.web, I'm adding connection strings. Add name my connection. My connection is my connection string name. Connection string, I'm adding the data source and the provider name, which is system dot data dot SQL client 
After adding the connection string in the web.config file, let's open again the code behind. Now here, string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection I'm pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equal to new SQL connection which takes this main connection main con string SQL query is equals to now here I'm writing the select statement to check the username exists or not select start from the table name is dbo.userRes copy that one paste here where the column name is email just copy this one paste here is equals to at email SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query and the second one is the connection object this one let's open the connection string SQL com dot open method SQL com dot parameters dot add with the value which takes two parameters one is the at email the column name you need to enter and the second one the object the object is a text box control id text dot text SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method if SDR dot has rows if the email ID exists I want to display the username is not available which is an email the first thing we need to set the property of a span is visible true the span check dot visible is equals to true label label check user dot text is equals to user email id is already exists lab check user dot I want to display the text message in a red color so font color is equals to system dot drawing dot color namespace dot red else let's copy this this here user email id is available and i want to display this text message in green color after that i want to close the connection string sql con dot close method that's it now one important thing is go to check user and here the text box control we need to add auto post back is equals to true if you don't add this property this functionality does not work let's check the results on the Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code let's enter user ID jack at gmail and I click tab see here the user email ID is already exists let's check in my database table 
the jack is there suppose if i enter the email id which is not available here let's take jack123 is not there when i click tab the user email id is available that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos